this is the end result of me cleaning up um, the piston and um, the the carbon. I know a lot of people are gonna say, well, this is not the right way, but what I use is my um, my drill and I put the wire brush on it and then I put a cut the scotch bright and put it on it and then I just rub it around like that and clean all that stuff just like that. Just like that. Um I'm just spraying the bird clean and it did a wonderful job. I must tell you a wonderful job to do clean up the system. And so um um, when doing it don't press don't don't press your body weight on it just let the drill bits work and you know you get a marvelous job when it's finished so most of the carbon all the carbon is off it really so it's nice and clean as days now you know i like the job i like i like what i see um it's a great job done you know so it's very good out there um there's more that could be done but it's okay as it is right there you know so i'm just gonna spray some wd i'm gonna spray some wd 40 on it and then i'm gonna cover it and leave it there because i have this cylinder to look after so i just just to prevent any mist or rust or so forth on it. Um, that's practically what it is and it's good enough. It's, it's, you know, it's a lot of work need to be done on this engine really, but what I love is that the pistons, they're just so firm. You know, they stand up in there. And, but, um, the engine need cleaning up. It's really dirty. And what had happened was that um, on the cylinder head, the, um, the crankshaft, the camshaft, the camshaft seal um, needed to change. So it was a lot of oil was coming out. And I believe that the, the, the cylinder head itself also um, had needed um, a gasket battery. So it was, oil was coming, was running out. But luckily there was no water that was going in the combustion and stuff like that. It, it was overheating though but what happened was that these port water ports and stuff like that was closed and if you notice you can see them good now because i opened them i cleaned them out and now i'm gonna get a vacuum and gonna suck all the thing out of it now you know so uh, that's the end of this one for the day um i think i did a pretty good job like I said, I, I would like to, I like to hear from myself a power man because I like his job, I like his work. You know, me, me um, you know, he, he try to do his own thing like myself. Um, I'm not a novice, but I'm still, I'm not an expert, but I can do my own thing. You know, what I mean, I can help myself. And when I do my own thing, I learn more. But um, my dad had sent me to school to do. Um, Auto mechanic when, when I was pretty young. So whenever time I leave school, I have to go to um, the vocational um, training. Uh, you know, it was like right across the street from me, so I couldn't hide from him or anything like that. You know what I mean? But you know, somehow, some way, I, I got away from that. You know what I mean? Because then, um, being in New York after a time, um, I lost all that. You know what I mean? Because um, it's just like the interest wasn't there anymore. But like I said, it's a good trade. Um, it's a good skill to have. Auto mechanic. And for me, when if when you change in the cylinder head, it's best to change your timing belt, um, the balancing shelf belt, all the belts to send to change it. Change the crankshaft, seal, front and back. Change them. They're there already. Um, change what's need to be changed. This um, coolant pipe right here, I need to replace it because it rust and eat. It's all heated up right there. And I noticed what they had did with it. They put um, 
um, what do you call that thing? Um, epoxy. They put a lot of epoxy around here, but I get rid of it. And then now um, I, I, I need to replace that. I got one inside, but I don't think it's going to work because that one came off uh, a 4G94 engine and it's on the outside instead of the inside. So it's two different setup, you know. Really what I'm looking at is I'm thinking really to change the water pump but the problem is that these things are very expensive in Jamaica even though they're expensive overseas they are inexpensive overseas um, in, in the states and other places for some reason it's just the parts are just way too expensive in Jamaica but I don't know why they do the parts like these in Jamaica like them like about 10 times the price you would pay for it um, overseas or um, in you know in the United States um, you know it is so cheap I mean I see like those same seal that I'm talking about you can get them for for like probably about two three dollars and they're selling them in Jamaica for like five thousand six thousand dollars you know that's outrageous that's ridiculous you know what I mean so it's crazy and you're talking about three dollars versus five thousand dollars you got some seal that even sell for less than a dollar you know rubbers less than a dollar in jamaica it's like two thousand dollars um, three thousand dollars so it's very hard to do all those things very very hard